Howdy folks, welcome back to Cray Outdoors. So today we are doing a quick little unboxing deal here. Um, this was a Black Friday deal. I honestly don't have a lot of money. I had zero intentions of buying anything on Black Friday, but uh, I decided, you know what, let's just go online and, you know, just see what's out there in terms of fishing deals. And uh, those of you that have the same disease that I do with fishing and fishing stuff know how that goes. I ended up buying stuff. In all honesty, this was an absolutely awesome, it was a deal that I couldn't pass up. Um, it was free shipping and handling because it was Black Friday. And uh, I only paid, I think after taxes, it was like $70. But uh, yeah, it was like $62 or $63 or something like this. It was on just a phenomenal deal. Um, let's unbox it. And we'll, I'll show you what it is. I'm very excited for it. I just tell you what it is. But eh, we'll keep you in suspense until I get the box opened up. Um, very, very excited about this. And uh, <sighs> it is from Cabela's. Is, uh, where I decided to check things out online on Black Friday, and, and uh, that was the first place I happened to go to, and that was the last place I went to. After that, I pretty much spent, you know, after I spent 60 or $70, I, I really couldn't spend any more money. So I called it quits after that and closed the window after I made this purchase. But did make this purchase. Here it is. Sweet. Cool. Cabela's Wind River Fly Combo. Um, so let's, let's see, is there anything else in here? No, just ads. All right, cool. <laughs> there it is. Sweet, sweet, sweet. So yeah, got a new fly rod. Finally have a real legit fly rod and not that old horrible one that, um, I found in an old shed that used to be my dad's that he, he's not even sure where it came from. But, uh, this is a real fly rod now. It's, even though it's a pretty, obviously an expensive one, I paid 63 or I, I paid, again, it was 70 after taxes, it was 70 something. It was originally $63 or something like this on this Super Black Friday deal. Um, so it's obviously not anything super fancy. But uh, I believe it was normally like over $100. And uh, it was like, it was like 50% off or something like that. I don't know. I don't know why it was so cheap. Came with line, came with, uh, I think, a liter on it. I think it comes with absolutely everything that I need to pretty much get started, everything with flies. So it is a nine foot, eight weight, four piece. I decided to go with an eight weight. That way I can uh, catch steelhead and stuff on it with confidence and use it for fishing bass and uh, even pike. And in all honesty, the, the rivers where I target muskie, Olean Creek and the Chattacoin River, they're, they're very small rivers and the muskie don't get that big in them. Um, I basically, I'm targeting like 10 pound muskie. So I could probably even maybe throw some flies for muskie with this thing, even though it's only an eight weight because I'm only targeting, you know, 10 pound fish. But cool. Let's get this thing opened up and check this bad boy out. Gosh darn it, this box is harder to open up than the other one. I just want to take it out of here and see what it looks like. And this thing might go into use as soon as tomorrow. I'm going steelhead fishing. So that's part of the reason why I had to get it hurried up and opened up tonight. And open. Yay. Cool. All right. There it is in all its glory. Uh, I have no idea how to set this thing up again. I'm new to fly fishing. I'm not even sure. I just got to put this thing together. Got to put it together. Got to put it together. Got to put it together. All right. I'm guessing that goes like that. How does the reel go on here? It's real. Looks like it is all completely set, ready to go. This looks very similar. I don't remember what kind of rod it was that my buddy Benji had last time we were steel fed fishing. He might have the same rod. <laughs> it's nine feet, which it's, I don't know if I'm going to be able, I'm not going to be able to fit the whole thing in the camera in my room here, being that this is a nine foot rod and my room is not that big. <laughs> I do want to put the whole thing together though, see how she feels. Awesome. Feels awesome. I mean, for $70, this is freaking awesome. All right, let's not break it right off the bat. Comes with line, there's a leader on here. 
Awesome. It's ready to freaking steelhead fish tomorrow. Just got to find some steelhead flies. Hopefully my friend will let me bum one or two off of him. Sweet. And there it is. There it is. Cool. Well, let's see if we can go out and catch my first steelhead on a fly tomorrow. And, uh, you know, I might go down to the river and throw for pike, too, to, on my uh, way home from Chautauqua County on, uh, on Sunday. So tomorrow's Saturday. going to be fishing Chautauqua Creek for steelhead. And um, then Sunday we will be uh, making our way back. And it's supposed to start snowing, but I might stop at the river on the way home and throw for pike especially if I don't get a steelhead on this thing. I'm going to catch a steelhead this weekend. You know, I'm new to the whole fly fishing thing, so I'll, I'm going to start off trying for them on flies. Um, but uh, if I end up not catching anything on flies, I'm going to switch over to spin gear. But we're definitely going to give this thing a test run this weekend. I'm excited for it. Sweet. And, of course, you guys know now I am going to be going to Florida, so that's going to sort of put a kink in the plans of what I purchased this fly rod for, as I already explained. Purchased it for bass, um, steelhead, small muskie, and pike, and uh, I don't think any of those things, well bass are the only common denominator there that is also in Florida. So uh, th there is all sorts of other weird crazy fish in Florida. You got alligator gar, which I don't know if this thing's strong enough to handle an alligator gar or not, but there, there's all sorts of crazy things down there that I believe people fly fish for as well. So uh, I'm, I'm going to take it with me, and uh, I have no idea what's even going to be down there. I know nothing about that. I'm just starting to research um, the fishing in that area now. So, um, you know, I'm going to bring this thing with me, and once I get down there, we can figure out what flies to buy and what fish we can target with it. But definitely going to be taking this to Florida with me as well. And uh, afterwards, I'm assuming I'm going to be back here in New York State, but who knows? Either way, I'm sure I'll be getting use out of this thing, plenty of use out of this thing wherever I go. Um, again, there's bass pretty much everywhere, and an eight weight is absolutely perfect for throwing for bass. So, yeah, I'm excited. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this little unboxing. This is a, I, you know, first impressions, this looks like an absolutely great deal for the price that it was. It's a Cabela's um, Wild River um, eight weight fly rod. So, yeah, check it out. It's right on Cabela's website. I don't know if this crazy deal is going to still be going where these things are only like 60 some dollars, but uh, if it is, definitely a, a worth it deal. And um, if not, um, I don't know, still seems like a good fly rod, but uh, I, I don't really, I've never owned a fly rod before besides that really horrible one. So uh, even when I start using this, I, I don't think I'm going to do any elaborate reviews or anything like that because I just, I don't know what a good fly rod feels like and what a bad fly rod. I know I, I'm still so new to fly fishing. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick little unboxing um, and the update that uh, I will be getting more so into fly fishing now that I've got some real fly gear. So catch you guys in the water. Thanks for watching, and uh, see you in the next fishing adventure.